Hi there, this is Robin Norgren, and I am with JosiesArtSchool.com. It is a business in a box uh, program model that teaches you how to develop a program that uh, is your own business that teaches art classes to children. And with my program, I give you all the marketing tools on law, as law, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your own uh, business in your area where you can teach art classes to children along with 15 lessons that break down into three different uh, art genres that allow you to be able to stay in one school and teach throughout a full semester or um, teach all three of the segments at the same time. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. This is called Small Business Mastermind. And my question that I'm answering today is, how passionate are you about business? Hmm. All right, so here's the deal. I love business. I love business. And I think that you have to have a level of love for business in general in order to be a good business person. Um, because th this, my, this business, my business, Josie's Art School, and if you decide that this is a good fit for you, jo Josie's Art School would be your business or what you decided to name it, um, it's not simply teaching the art. That's just what it comes down to. There are so many facets to it. You are marketing yourself. You are um, making a name in your community. You are getting to know um, administrators and parents. You're building relationships with teachers. You're building relationships with the children. You're also uh, looking at it as how can I make the next connection in order to um, get my business into other schools or into other um, uh, places, venues. And so um, it's amazing to me how you have to uh, constantly have this mindset of almost being this role model for your business. And I don't know if you can really do that if you don't really understand business. Let me give you an example. Um, if you work for, say, Barnes & Noble, and you are simply about uh, getting your, your paycheck and clocking out at break and clocking out at lunch, well, you are an employee, right? Now, if you are the owner of Barnes & Noble, there is a different way you're walking around in the world because you are Barnes & Noble all the time. And so when you connect with people, you are, of course... I, you know, yourself first, but you're also thinking that the way in which you uh, engage in the world, well, when that person suddenly realizes that business, whatever the business may be, let's, let's continue with the idea of Barnes & Noble, when they connect with you again as Barnes & Noble, there is a perception now based on how you were in that other interaction that you have. I had this happen actually a few weeks back. I have a, a daughter who's, her name is Josie, and this is actually what the business, who she's named after, the business named after her. But anyway, she um, was in a program at, uh, uh, at a music center. And so I was going to see the program. And I also um, have taught um, preschool for a long time in the Montessori environment. And so I go to sit down, take my seat, get my camera out, get ready to take the pictures. And who walks in the door but a parent from um, the school I used to work at. And so her daughter comes up and we say hello, and we chat for a few minutes, and then we start um, you know, watching the program together. Her older daughter happened to be in the same program. Long story short, um, at the end, I just happened to have signed a contract to be teaching art classes at this music center. And so at the end of that, they very graciously announced to the crowd, just so you know, signups are available for Josie's Art School, the art classes. And she looked at me, she said, oh, you teach art too? And I said, yep, I do. And she says, oh my gosh, well, make sure and, uh, you know, let me, where, how do you sign up? And she started to talk to me about it. My point being that had we not had a good experience in the preschool setting, you know, X number of months ago, when she, it came time for her to hear about this other side of me that we didn't, you know, as teachers, you're not allowed to promote what it is you're doing outside. 
um, she wouldn't have been as receptive as she was for her older child had she not had this experience with her younger child and me. So anyway, all I to say is um, there is definitely a sense of you have to be passionate because even if you know there were come to come a time where you have your own business and maybe you have someone who is maybe teaching for you, um, the reality is, is you have to have some level of expectation on them as well. Like, because when you go in and pitch uh, for the classes and you get the classes per se, um, and then you don't actually teach the class, but the other person goes in to teach the class. Well, how does that look um, if that turns out to be a bad experience? And so that's just reaching into the future as, as far as as your business grows, and this can be for any business, um, you want the employees to have that same level of passion. Now, the reality is no one is as passionate as the owner, but it, it's almost like you have to have your passion at the overkill level so that when they bring it down a couple notches, it's still at a level that shows that this is high quality, um, this is exciting, this, you want to be a part of this program, and they, you know, and, and then and the business continues to grow. All right, well, thank you for stopping by. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer, please make sure and put it in the comments at you, in YouTube, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get my question every single Monday. Thank you so much. I'm Robin Norgren, Josie's Art School, and thanks for stopping by.